Did you know that by using keyboard shortcuts, you can save up to 8 entire days every year? So I think it definitely makes sense to start using them to speed up your workflow. I am Luke and in this video I want to give you some tips and materials how to quickly learn shortcuts on the Mac. If you are finding yourself going to these menus on top over and over performing the same command, then this is the right video for you. But how to learn these shortcuts fast and how to find the commands I really need? These are the questions we will answer right now. First, and the easiest way how to find the most commonly used shortcuts is to download my cheat sheet. I have created cheat sheets with the most used Mac shortcuts, especially for Safari, for editing text or overall system navigation. With them you will get a nice overview of Mac commands all on one single page and the links you will find in the description. But if you are really excited about learning shortcuts and you want to get more practice, I have also made an entire course about Mac shortcuts. It consists of more than 100 videos and each video is dedicated to a different shortcut. It's very simple, short and entirely for free. You don't need to share any of your details, no credit cards, nothing. So just go ahead and enroll, don't hesitate and join more than 1000 people who are already taking this course and you can start using these shortcuts. And as usual, you will find the link in the description of this video as well. I think that using these materials is the fastest and easiest way how to learn Mac shortcuts in no time. There are tons of shortcuts on the Mac and sometimes it's not easy to find the one I really need. For this purpose we can use the help menu. This search function will help you locate commands which are buried somewhere deep in the submenus. It's simple to find commands while you are in Finder because there are not as many and they are quite intuitive. But if you switch for example to Pages, it gets a lot more complicated and finding a command for making a superscript, it's hidden somewhere in the menus and it might be really annoying to look for it. But if you type it here in the help menu, it will show you exactly in which submenu it is. And on the right side you'll get a shortcut as well. So at the same time you can learn the shortcut and you don't need to visit this menu anymore. As you have noticed that the keyboard shortcut is a combination of a modifier key and a regular key on your keyboard. If you are struggling with these symbols watch my previous video in the Mac Basic playlist. I'm explaining these symbols there. Another good thing is that there is also a way how to create your custom keyboard shortcuts. And not only that, you can also change the predefined ones. So if you find some shortcuts too complicated to learn, you can change it. I also have a video about it, which I posted before. So check it out if you are interested into creating a custom keyboard shortcut. I believe that with all of these tools, you can now start practicing the keyboard shortcuts and learn the commands on the Mac you use the most. And tell me which one is your favorite command. For me, it's definitely command Z, which will undo the previous action. So always when I mess it up something, I can bring it back with a simple command Z shortcut. Very useful. And I hope you will find these tips and these materials useful as well. I am Luke and I will see you in the next video.